we got some breaking news. It looks like Devin Haney, the chosen one, new money, has not re-upped with Eddie Hearn, although they may continue to work together in some capacity or work together. Devin Haney is choosing to stay a free agent. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you put a thumb up on this video. That does go a long way. Let's jump into it. Link in the description. Eddie Hearn has revealed that Devin Haney has not re-signed with DAZN and is staying a network-free agent for now, so there are, quote, no excuses to prevent fights with Teofimo Lopez and Gervonta Davis. Hearn said he and Devin Haney will still work together. So I don't know all the details, you know, I haven't talked to Bill Haney or Devin Haney, don't know the details, but I like this move from the Haney's in terms of staying a, a platform free, network free agent. Devin Haney has a lot of options. And to be honest, this is bad news for Ryan Garcia and Teofimo Lopez. Here's why. Because Devin Haney was told by both of them and Bob Arum to fight a top 10 guy, which he did in his last fight with Jorge Linares. So with that being said, there's really no excuses if he's a free agent a la Mikey Garcia and he's not promotionally tied to the zone platform exclusively or if he's not tied exclusively to, you know, a particular a particular network. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, now we're going to see what's what and who's who and who really wants this fight. Right. Lomachenko. Does he really want to fight Devin Haney? Because they had a little spat online and had some back and forth dialogue that was exchanged. But now if Devin Haney is a free agent, you would have to surmise that the reality of these fights happening, if people really want the fights, should be able to be made. You know, Ryan Garcia, you could say, OK, he was on the zone and Devin Haney had a, a long term contract that he just fulfilled on the zone. But the fight never got made. Right. Golden Boy fighter. And then now that Devin Haney is revealed that he's a promotional free agent, kind of like Canelo and the Mikey Garcias, then that means they can roam and, and stomp where they want in pursuit of the, the top fights out there available to them. So I like this move. I can't wait to see what's next. PBC is also a big option for him. You see Gervonta Davis, the work that Mayweather promotions, Al Heyman, Showtime, and Premier Boxing Champs has done with him, making him into a viable, bank bankable star. I did some videos about that, so check out his numbers, uh, the reported numbers. Uh, Steven Espinoza also said that Tank Davis is making progress and moving the needle forward. So I can't wait to see what's next from this young crop of fighters. A lot of terrific fights. You got Shakur Stevenson. You got Gary Russell Jr. Maybe these fights can happen now. Ryan Garcia, Teofimo, the, the, again, why it looks bad for them is because some people don't believe Teofimo's pull out of his fight and he's been on record, kind of went back and forth with Devin Haney about fighting him. Now that Devin Haney's free, let's see if Bob Arum top rank and Ryan Garcia and Teofimo and the people who said they want to smoke. Let's see if they make a motion because, again, he just fought a top 10 person. He did get hurt, but you can't let that as boxing people get hurt. You can't let that outshine the whole performance, the whole performance in his totality. He looked good and he actually beat Jorge Linares better than Lomachenko and people like that. Lomachenko got put on his butt. Devin Haney got buzzed at the end of the round. Maybe it's a careless mistake, something that you can just button up be mindful on your defense but Devin Haney looked good in his last fight so I can't wait to see what's next is he going to keep working with Eddie Hearn in some capacity what does this mean for DAZN I don't know like see this is the thing that's going to hurt DAZN in the U.S. like I've been telling you Ego Stradamus you have fighters who come and go on the network in the past like Jose Ramirez beat Maurice Hooker and then left and signed an extension with top rank. Andy Ruiz beat up Joshua, hurt his profile, took his O, and he was no longer undefeated. Then he goes back to Al Heyman after the rematch, right? And then they get to build him and put him on Fox and all that, right? 
Dervinchenko, in my opinion, beat up Triple G. Hey, no, guys, hey, Mox. And should have won the fight. And then he goes back and loses to Charlo on Showtime, et cetera, et cetera. So that, Josh Taylors and Nunuis, they did good and won the World Boxing Super Series. Then they leave the platform. And then they go to top rank, you know. Inui went to top rank. Josh Taylor went to top rank. Donaire started working with PBC and just became um, a, a champion again versus Obali. And then now with Canelo being a promotionally free agent, Devin Haney being a promotionally free agent, it's like the $100 a year for DAZN. You got to make it make sense. And we don't know if Devin Haney, who's somebody I enjoy watching, you know, and then Canelo, who's also uh, enjoyable to watch when he's fighting somebody you want to see him fight, right? Now we don't know if they're going to even be on the platform or they're not exclusive to it. It just makes it hard for the long term. But I'll talk about more of that later. For now, Devin Haney is promotionally free from what we understand and the latest reports. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think the fight's can be made now or is Devin Haney the boogeyman and, and people still won't be chomping at the bit for a Devin Haney opportunity. Watch some of my other content. I dropped a lot of heat recently. Stay tuned to the end of this video for some more of that content so you can discover that we work.